Ask a gamer exactly what visual effects are and they probably couldn't answer you. See, visual effects are the little things. The wisps of mist on an alien planet, sparks from an explosion, or leaves just falling from a tree. They're the crackle of a thunderstorm or the panicking flash of danger on your screen, and the glimmer of the unknown through a mysterious portal. Visual effects are the things that makes a game feel alive and the gamer feel in control. But hey, don't just take it from me. It's difficult to hone in on what exactly real-time VFX means, so we asked some of our team members. Real-time VFX to me, um, I feel like enhances the overall atmosphere and feeling within a game. They uh, communicate to the player different events, moments, feelings. There's something that you might not notice when you're playing a game, but you would maybe notice if they weren't there. They are the things that fill out the world and make it feel like it's an actual place you could be. They can bring a sense of calm. Um, they can bring in a sense of excitement or even fear. If the product is done right, you shouldn't see the effects. You should almost feel them. We all have different ideas of what real-time VFX means to us. And similarly, we've all had to take different journeys to learn our craft. There's never been a hands-on in-engine training program before. So we decided to create one. My name is Keith Garrett, and I'm the studio head of Beyond Effects. My name is Seth Hall. I'm a principal technical artist, and I'm helping develop the course material for the Beyond Effects apprenticeship program. We've developed a path for recent graduates and passionate artists to hone the skills that they need to be production-ready VFX artists. That training includes hands-on in-engine production tasks, guest lectures from across the industry, and of course, mentorship from our talented team here at Beyond Effects. Week one is an introduction to visual effects. By the end of week one, apprentices will know how to work within the Unreal Engine, they'll know how to work safely within a production environment, and they'll already be implementing their effects. Week two, ambient VFX integration. Apprentices will have learned how to take their ambient VFX and optimize them. The apprentices will know how to integrate and implement environmental effects that fit into the lighting and gameplay needs of a level. Week three is going to go more into gameplay effects and collision events. These effects include muzzle flashes, bullet impacts, spells, and breakables. Week four, design effects. So by the end of week four, apprentices will have learned how to implement their effects into blueprints, such as UI elements, navigational effects, and pickups. Week five is all about cinematic effects. Apprentices will learn how to integrate all of their effects into action-packed, dynamic, cinematic moments. Week six, advanced techniques. Apprentices will have learned how to take the effects they've created throughout the course and optimize them. Our focus is going to be introducing as many different advanced techniques and considerations to the apprentices as possible. By the end of our six-week program, apprentices will have learned all of the skills that they need to begin their VFX adventures on the production of their dreams. For real-time VFX artists, the goal is to craft an experience that's not only beautiful, but rich with detail and teeming with life. The end game is to give players the feeling that their next great adventure may be just around the corner or through that flickering portal to the right.